Welcome back everybody to House Flipper. This is Series 2, House Flipper, the first game that was released. And uh, we're going to head on over. I need to make 90 something grand in order to be able to purchase the historic house that's just been released. So we're going to head... Let me just fix this. Uh, I know, I just don't like having the dots. It drives me nuts. Radio. Into our map of jobs, we have three in Luxury Flipper to do. I think we did the uh, the house on the cliff last time, so we were up here. We've just finished this one. Um, this one looks, you know, we've gone from high. Why don't we go down to low? Ooh, a job we can't refuse. I'm going to turn the sound up so we can hear the guy talk. Let's get to it. Where'd he go? Up. Oh. A job you can't refuse. Tony has seen and done a lot during long years of developing his career. Now he's finally ready to lead a quiet life in retirement. On that occasion, he wishes for his old printing house to become a comfortable home he could move into. Its convenient location also allows him to still keep an eye on a family business after passing the button to the younger generations. So he's kind of not really ready to retire. Hmm. Alrighty, let's see what he's got to say in his briefing. They say that you are reliable, that you don't mind getting your hands dirty, uh -oh. and I respect that. That is why I have an offer for you. My godson plans to move our family business to Moonrise Bay. I trust him, but he still has a lot to learn. That's why I want to move in here too. Uh -oh. It will be better if he stays under my protection. Now look, my boys were running a certain business operation here. They had little respect for this place. I want you to take care of it. I'm sure a wise guy like you has the right tools to make it a proper home. Do this for me and my family and I will not forget it. A job you can't refuse. Well, I have to say, um, he does worry me a little bit, doesn't he? So why don't we do a job we can't refuse properly? Let's get this lawn looking good. No one wants an old wise guy to be upset with them because they couldn't be bothered getting their workspace tidy. Let's go. Alrighty, this sway the grass going. You know how it is. The last one we were lucky. She'd already hired the gardener and they had everything under control. But this time, well, this time we're going to take this job we can't refuse and we're going to make this place look gorgeous. Despite its best efforts to do otherwise. I'm really not comfortable being this close to the sea. Anyway, we're good. We just won't look. get this little patch here done. I just want to get that bit that I missed along the wall. And then we'll tidy all this up. I love this ghost bushes. They um they added it in and just it's made mowing so much easier for the from a game perspective. It's now a pleasure to, to kind of do it. It still takes effort but it, it's not impossibly finicky fiddly. There we go. I know when we first did these jobs, when I first got this DLC, we weren't actually able to do all the mowing. And uh, it used to really depress me to turn these beautiful, expensive, elegant houses into, into something lovely. And to present the owner with the outside looking like trash. Um, because we, we couldn't just didn't have the tools to do it. And now I really like it. We can go smoke this tree. Oh, I forgot about that. Sometimes the trees don't look ghostly, but they still are. I'm just going to um, 
There we go. Make sure we get everything. We'll do a whippersnip around the around the edges just to make sure that the edges are lovely uh, once we're done. So we got what it takes to make it a lovely family home. Every every client gets a clean a clean yard anyway, whether they're a scary mafioso or not. It's just the way we are. I like to make it look good. That's why we have the job we have, and you know, I'm swimming with fishes. There is something very satisfying about getting the uh, the grass mode. Alrighty, nearly there. Of course, a real garden will tell you that um, getting rid of all of this stuff just by mowing it is not the most efficient way to ensure that the weeds have gone away. Um, and that you're probably better off There we go. Weeding it properly. That's what I was wondering about. Alrighty, let's take our noisy mower down the back. It does so too fit. We'll mow through this line of trees. I know, I cannot mow through. There we go. Everything. Alrighty. It's just, like I said, very chillaxing. It's mindless, it lets your subconscious just work your way through. Well, he was not kidding when he said the boys did not respect the place, wasn't he? Alrighty, let's grab our brush cutter. What we're going to do is just make sure our edges are tidy. Sometimes when you're looking for the last little bit of grass, it'll be sitting along a fence line or over by a house. See so all that dark green that we're seeing, that's all long grass we need to cut. And some missions, it's very finicky about um, whether or not something is cut. So get all of this tidy. Beep. I'm looking at it, it's actually looking pretty clean. Like I said, mowing has become quite quite a, a good thing. That's actually, there's something there. There we go. All right, that's it. As far as I'm concerned, that's the outside done. Oh boy. Okay. All right, let's not sell anything that we uh, don't want to don't want to because we know who we're working for, and some clients they might be understanding. This guy, I doubt it. Oops, my bad. Says she promptly doing what she said she wasn't going to do. Beautiful. We'll, we'll do a trash run in the middle in a minute. Actually, that looks like something I can sell. Oh, I can hear cockroaches. Yeah, we'll deal with those suckers in a minute. Oh, we're removing that as well, are we? Well, fine then. Um, I know, normally I go room by room. I'm just getting a feel for the place. It's a pretty big job, so. 
Uh, we'll be fixing those, no doubt. Alrighty, I found a corner. Why don't we um, just collect a bit of the trash out of here and get this place tidy? Actually start getting the job underway. It's like someone uh, doesn't lose well at cards or loses incredibly well and doesn't like it. One of those, you take your pick. Away we go. Oh, I, know, I can still hear the roaches. Let's um, let's get it clean. We'll uh, we'll also get rid of this wall in a minute. I just want to make sure everything in here is tidy. Let's go with the hammer. Nearly there. I know, what is this? Everything's out of the way. Let's go with our hands. We'll get this mess cleaned up. There they are. All right, let's give the little beggars something they can't hide under. We'll just remove all their hiding place and then we'll vacuum them up. It's a pretty effective way of dealing with them anyway. Look at this. Alright, pull out that vacuum cleaner. Let's go. These guys just need to be gone. Alright, we've eliminated the cockroaches. Let's get the dirt gone. Mold. That stuff is going to keep coming back unless we deal with it with prejudice. all the dirt done. Missed the couple of things, these toilet signs, the doorway. Oh, we can get rid of the rubbish this way too, I suppose. Don't want to get rid of that. Let's go with the cleaning. Fix this area. Looks like got some hammering to do too. Looks good, let's go. So we're getting a feel for the place. Getting some of the um, the old bones going. Some days I just like to get rid of all this stuff. first and then just go through room by room and actually put it all back together, having taken it apart. Yeah, I'm going to sell the sink plumbing system out of here. Alrighty, let's get some walls down. Save a bit of cleaning. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> oh no, that, that's right. They want me to make that a solid wall. That's fine. I'm like, wait, did I take something out I shouldn't have? No, I, I didn't. I just. like to now they've got this safeguard you can't actually take out things that you um aren't meant to it's kind of nice i used to I used to spend a lot of my time putting walls back in that i'd accidentally removed that one's gonna go right i get you 
It was very annoying. But uh, we did it anyway. Now, I'm not sure I can sell that nose. We're going to have to pick it up. And I'll just whack it over here. And I'll grab this one, I'll whack it beside it. And we'll, uh, we'll rewire those into a proper position later. All right. Looks like they want me to put in some solid walls. Blue dot on the, on the mini map. We've got our walls pretty pretty much advanced, so we're now at that point where we can just Oh, no, don't put that there. Alright, and then what we want to do is go for these upper walls. Okay. So this whole space is done. Um Cleaning wise, it's just waiting for us to put something nice in and fix up the windows. So, all of this just needed um, a fair amount of work. Can sell that, so we'll sell that because then we're going to hammer this down. I think I'm somewhere under the dirt patch. There I am. I mean, I could clean all that stuff up, but we could just get rid of the wall. It's quicker. And down. Not doing too badly, I guess. Now, ah, it wants me to get rid of this bit. Yeah. And replace that with a solid wall. Sure thing. Okay. Alrighty, let's get this cleaning done. Is that something I need to sell? Surely is. Alright, let's just tidy up this mess. Alright, we're not over into that space yet, clearly. here. There we go. It's not too bad, is it right? We, we'll get rid of some of these in a minute. I'm just taking out the trash. Alrighty. I'm not even going to speculate what these boys were doing here. Therein lies disaster and a quick trip to a place you don't want to be. All right. Okay, damaged emergency exit sign on the right. All right, all of that is done. We haven't, we still haven't gotten rid of everything. These are the cobwebs. They're not showing up for some reason. We definitely don't want to leave cobwebs in here. Okay, that was a 
floor mess into here. Okay, this is the entry that we came in. Alright, now it's tidy. Let's just remove all the paper. So I'm pretty sure that desk was something we were refurbishing and not selling. We are selling this though. Missed that completely. Boom. All right, let's clean the dirt. A little bit over here. Someone's burked up where they shouldn't. Beautiful. Okay, this room is done. Fix the window. I love it. It's magic. We might do that with all of these in here too. Just check. It's like there's a skylight in here. Let's change that window. Change that window. Change that window. Beautiful. Change that window. Change that window. Get rid of that. And get rid of that. All right, so the basic cleaning has happened. Change that window, change that window. Beautiful. I know I've got dust everywhere. It's starting to look pretty good, though. I mean, you know, given given what we walked into. Let's go with the rubbish. All of this is getting tidy. Oh, looks like I've got... Yeah, I definitely have something to remove out there. We'll get rid of that in a minute. We're going to have to run through and put some lights in each room, I think, because we're starting to run out of daylight, which is a pain in the neck. Just get the carpet clean. No doubt we'll be tidying that up shortly. Let me just grab my hammer because it's hammer time. Looks like we're going to have a solid wall in here. We'll get that going. Get all of that in. Beautiful. I still need to sell an object or three. Oh, well, that can go. All right, that's done. Bring all of this down. And then we'll tidy all of this up. Uh, I'm I'm not sure I want to know what that is. We're just going to make sure it's just not here, okay? Looks like the kind of thing the boss doesn't want out in the open, so let's get rid of it. Alright, place is clean in here. Clean in here. I need to build a wall. All right, let's get that in. It's being very awkward, isn't it? I know, I've missed a whole gap. I have to come back to it. Just patience. Oh, what was that? Let me fix that. I know. All right, while that's clearing, let's get this bit in. Get this bit in. 
And that bit's in. Good. Just going through here. I think I've got another wall to put in here, so we'll get that done. Okay. This is a huge job. Oh, you want me to sell any of those? Oh, fine. We'll just get this cleaned up. Tossed. Maybe disposed of carefully in a secure location. Client privacy and all that. You don't want me to get rid of that. All right. Well, let's just clean all of this up. It will no doubt tell me what it wants me to sell. There, I've missed a cup. Oh. Radio. Uh, we'll just grab these things here and we'll stack them. They look like that. They belong on this shelf. Care what's in them, just gotta make them look sitting pretty on the shelf. It's okay. It's gotta go, and that's gotta go. Beautiful. This room's ready. This room's ready to to renovate. This room is ready to renovate. This room is ready to renovate. This room needs these up here. Okay, this room is ready to renovate. That's a desk I need to fix. We're going to go through, we're going to put lights in everything soon. Just need to make sure that I've got all of the Things that are sold that need to be sold. All right, so this space is ready to renovate. This space is ready to renovate. Yep. This space is ready to renovate. And this space. And I'll just make sure I've got these back rooms ready. All right. Sconce Lux by four. Let's go. We're going to put the lights in. Just all one big... Thing. We're going to make it all white, pristine. So I think we're going to go... Yep, this room. Lucerna sconce by two. I'm going to put one on this side. Beautiful. Very bright though. Um, Alright, let's see what lights we want in here. Again, small Lucena sconces. How many? Two I think it was. Radio. And this one. Uh, 
not as bright as I'd like it, but it'll do in here. Nothing. Let's head over into here. into this space let's go two rotational sconces in the white and the white and in here all right this is like an outside area with no lights at all gotcha okay Let's go this way. Looks like I've got a light sitting up here. I'll go with this one. Although I do like the brass base in it, so we're going to put that one there. Uh, and this one. Yeah, same again. And this one. Right. Uh-huh. We just go with that, I guess. And I'm thinking this will be the same. Which means I want this light switch. I don't like how low they are. But okay, fine. If they sat higher, I'd be happier tasks elven ceiling lamp and only the one so we're going to have to sit it in the middle and in here lucerna sconces again getting fond of those aren't they Ah, oh, and just need to find my spare light switches. Okay. All right. So we've got our lights up and we've done our cleaning. Let's see how far through we can get with our decorating. Gonna need a large bucket of white. I saw a few areas that required white paint. So let's get this painting done. It's going to look good when it's done. For all that he sounds like he comes from the shadowy underworld, he doesn't look like a guy who likes any shadows in his world, does he? Everything's pristine and white, there's no place for a shadow to hide. It's probably a good thing, really. I 
don't know, that music is relentless, isn't it? Just makes you want to get the job done and get out of there. Well, you know the drill. We get this patch here done tidy. Beautiful. Let's just grab this and toss it into there. All right, floor tiles. Let's go. All the way through to the end. Oh, missed it. Okay, internal door, Wiru ebony and a wallpaper retro car wash. Okay, internal. Let's get this done. Beautiful, this room is done. Thinking this is just maybe more efficient if I put it this way. Here we go. Lovely. That's done in here. We're installing panels. We won't need the white paint. Let's get our panels, floor tiles, herringbone, dark walnut, floor parquet. Let's get that down to get a feel for how this room is going to be. So we've gone for this pristine bathroom area. Oh, sorry, um, garage area. To this one now. Two wooden wardrobes, light brown panels with red paint and light brown panels with violet. All right, great. I'm going to go with this. We're going to make it understated. And we're going to work with... Basically, there's one side, and we're going to give it We're going to maybe make a feature wall Okay, drop that down. We're going to sell these So our feature wall is going to be over here they want purple. No. Yeah, let's go with that. I think I only need about two racks of it. So we get this up. Might only need one, but anyway. Oh no, I would have needed a little bit. Just wind that in. Now that's done. Drop that down. Sell that. So I've got this calming purple and then I've got this blood red kind of all the rest of the way. Uh, I'm just going to grab my paintbrush and we're just going to paint the interior here so there's a nice smooth finish. We don't need to panel underside the doors. I just want it clean. Okay. He wants two Caribbean... Caribbean wooden wardrobes. Let's give it a dark base. We're going to have the mirrored doors. That's pretty good. We're going to flip it. Um, I could fit that there, couldn't I? If I didn't have that on the wall. Let's pop that up there then. Again, with that dark base underneath. Ready, go. And a Lenwa interior door, which I'm going to do my best to match. 
Um, he seems to just want the base. And I'm going to frame. I'm going to give the handles. The handles can be dark. No, we'll go with the silver. I just want to see how well that goes with that door. Okay, so it looks like I need to do a brown as opposed to a black. Maybe a burned beach. Do, do, do. All right, I'm not going to get a matching door. That's fine. Let's bring that in. Looks somewhat daunting, but you know what? It's fine. Okay, store Beowulf's white low panels and snowy necks floor tiles. Let's just drop that over into here. Let's get these floor tiles down. Give everything an instant lift. I know, I know that's done. Let's just do this. Beautiful. Um, Bear Wolf's white low panels. I'm going to go with that crystal. And we're just going to... Let's see how we go. All right, doesn't look too bad, I guess. He's got no real, um, you know, sense of just color continuity at all, does he? It's like each room is, is such a definitive little zone. get this done okay a Venuski dark double external door well this will be interesting let's see where he wants this inside there All right. Beautiful. Okay. A Jonathan semicircular table and a light colored poof, three hooks, um, a Faro mirror. All right, you know what I'm going to assume? I'm going to just grab this light here. We're going to move that over. We're going to grab our semicircular light color table. We're going to go with our burnt. Have a look. No. Oh, I'm looking for a color that really matches with the all right, that'll do. And then I want a semicircular poof. We're going to go with the white and we're going to go with the burned beach on the legs. Pull it out of the wall. Beautiful. Hooks we want three of. Let's go. Uh, I'm not sure where I want the hooks though. Let me just let me just put the mirror in first. 
So I'm thinking of having this ferro mirror and large there. All right, so I want to move that out of the way. Ferro mirror in the large. And we want to center it on this table. And then I want to grab this and I want to sit it up above it. Beautiful. And now what we want is we want this Ambrosius Beauchart thingy what's it? I'm gonna put it in the extra large. In the burned beach frame. Okay, we don't want it extra large. That is wow, too extravagant for my socks. It'll do. Because as you come in the door, that's what you see. Alrighty, now we want the hooks because we can see where the hooks are going to go. Alrighty, that's this room done. Into this room. Um, Alright, so we don't need the white paint in here. We'll just dump it into there then. We have furniture renovation going, so let's renovate this. Uh, fine, we'll just go with whatever that is. get up in here cute flip wasn't it yeah It won't let us do the legs, so that's fine. I'm using, holding down my left mouse button and just moving it around so that I can see more of what I want to get. Okay, let's flip it again. Yeah, I've missed this entire pattern up here. Oh no, that's no, that's not what I missed. What have I missed? Maybe here? Uh-huh. Gotcha. Alrighty. Oh. What's it Roko look like? Ebony. It's very dark. Bete. Let's go with the Roko. Yeah, let's restore it as much as we can. used to be a lot less forgiving this system I'm so glad they've made it a little bit more tolerant of our human foibles and this way
Well, 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 look at that. Now I haven't flipped it yet, so we haven't done the underside. So let's flip it. Q to flip. Uh, right mouse button hold down and then just move it around so we can get what we need. Beautiful. All right, let's get this top done. Yeah, renovating the old desk. So I'm thinking I probably have to... Oh, well there we go. We're going to grab that Oroko, we're going to do it again. Just get it all beautifully stained. It looked pretty Oroko from where I was looking, so... There we go. Alrighty, might as well get these front bits done. Q to flip it. Rico. Pretty sure the man doesn't want a piebald desk. There we go. Grab this one. All right, grab this one. There, that bit there done. Get this bit here done. And this bit here, and we're good. Alright, let's get the side panel. I'm just going to be fairly unimaginable to get that done. Do the same here. In with the Oroko. Look at all these panels in here, it's pretty. Legs. Oh, okay. So you can press A or D to move to another leg as well. So we just go A, it'll bring us over to this one. And I'm just using, holding down my right mouse button and moving around. And then A again to bring us to the next one. And then A should bring us to the last one as well. There we go. Just go with the Oroko. Uh, right mouse button hold down and pull and then A again and then A again get all of this done A again beautiful exit the workshop boom Okay, we're going to lay the floor tiles just to get a feel for the, the the darkness of the room that they want. So we'll get all that in. All right, so it's a direct contrast to um, to what they're doing in the other rooms. Install panels light brown low with blue paint and light brown low with red paint. Oh, really? 
All right, let's go with this one. So I'm going to use just along this wall, we're going to go with the red. And then I'm going to put in... There we go. On. Yeah. Finish this room. Oops. Put that down. So we're going to have a, like a feature wall. And then we're just going to use, because he's going to have the bed against this wall, we're going to literally put the um, the blue panels. Actually, I really want a blue more than a green. That's a sleepy blue. Let's go with a sleepy blue. All right. Let's see how we go. And again. Just bring that in so it's not intruding into other areas. We want it, we're gonna to have to put it into here because otherwise it's gonna look odd. There we go. Let's get that down. Oh, we don't know how it's going to turn out, but hey, here we are. Uh, I do want my paint. Let's just get this bit here. And I've already done that bit there. Excellent. Okay. You know, I don't think this is a bedroom after all. Paint with the colours white, which is why we've been dragging our white paint can around. That is what happens if you're not careful about when you're tiling and you let things overflow. The walls came pre-painted, as you can see. And I've got a spare light switch over here, so I didn't need to nick one from the other room. Or did I? I did. Right, okay. Let me just grab this and we're going to pop it over here. Grab this. And we'll pop this in here. Okay, I don't know if we're going to need it there, but we'll work it out. Everything is understated elegance. Okay. Rebecca office chair. Let's go. No, we're going to want something. Yeah, that's kind of luxurious. Burn beach on the legs. Um, black, dark steel. And the details can be dark. So. Okay, a Lapidus high cabinet with drawers and doors by two. Going for the burnt beach, although the Brazil nut's a little bit lighter. Handles, I've, they're, they're cream, we're going to go with dark, and the glass is going to be glass. So I'm going to grab this, and we're going to pop this in behind him here. I'm 
You know what? I think I'm just going to put it here. No, I do think we want to have the mirrored. Right, now he's got space to move. Hanging Diopterus Carthusiana big. By one. <laughs> you know what, actually? I am going to... I know, I, I could regret this yet. Lapidus high cabinet with shelves. We want two of these guys. We're going to do it in the Brazil nut again with the uh, the dark handles. Going to sit them across with each other, right next to each other. Actually, why don't we put this one right here? Okay, a Cereus repandus, which is probably a, yep, yeah, it's a plant. I'm going to give it a black holder. Alrighty, what's next? A Lanwa, I'm going to go with a burned beach. And no, glass. Burned beach on the third, and black. No, the handles are dark. Silver, let's go with silver, whatever. And then burned beach on the frame. Beautiful. Just going to grab this light switch and we're going to move it out a little bit from the cupboard. Okay, classic rug red. And a Winslow Homer breezing up a fair wind. Let's have a look at that. That's not what we're after. All right. Now, I mean, I could put that there, but I'm actually thinking I'm going to put it right here. Get its own wall. That's this room done. Not bad. Alrighty. We're not completing the job. We have this little room here. Okay. Play floor tiles, zebra wood panels. There's no door for this room. It's weird. A uh, Lexington wooden bookcase and a Gilbert chair. Again with the burnt beach, we're going to leave the glass as glass. And we're going to grab this Gilbert chair. It's going to be black on black. I'm actually thinking we could almost put this over here. No, it obscures the door. That's it. So this little room is done. This little room is done. And guys, that's all we have time for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. I'll check you later. Take care out there.